What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another supplement review. Yes, uh, this one was requested and so I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. So I'm excited to get my hands on this protein. Let me just say, it was a little expensive, but we're here to do it anyways. I'm gonna consider this like a part one because this protein powder has quite a number of flavors. So we definitely got to try the other ones as long as these two flavors taste good. So yes, you saw the title. We are trying the True Vani Certified Organic Plant-Based Proteins. I wanted to start with classic chocolate and vanilla to see if they can really nail down the classic chocolate and vanilla flavors but otherwise they had like chocolate peanut butter i think like a chai flavor and then an unflavored one which i probably wouldn't try and i think there was like one or two other flavors i can't quite remember but we will definitely have to try them so i'm pretty excited about these these are quite some interesting so for the chocolate one it just says on a chocolate flavored protein powder made from only six ingredients so they just want to be like a very clean protein batter. So I'm definitely curious about that. The ingredients in this one are organic pea protein, organic alkalized cocoa, organic vanilla powder, organic pumpkin seed, organic monk fruit extract, and organic chia seed protein. So very fascinating. And for the vanilla, this one has only five ingredients being the pea protein, vanilla powder, pumpkin seed monk fruit extract and chia seed protein so super clean as you can see from the back it's got no dairy no stevia no gums no soy no flow agents whatever that is no emulsifiers no gluten non-gmo and no weird ingredients so yes but let me say these are kind of expensive they're each 49.99 so after tax like 50 bucks um so and there's only like 20 servings per container so that's kind of expensive per serving but we shall see if they taste good or not so i am going to mix these up with just some water we'll start with the vanilla and then move on to the chocolate and give them a taste test so we've got the vanilla right here and this mixed up super easily. I just gave it like a few hard shakes and no, no clumps or anything in the bottom. Of course, we shall see like if it's gritty, what the texture is like and the taste, of course. Forgot to mention that for one serving size, one scoop is 29 grams, 130 calories, three grams of fat, five grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. So I would say that's pretty good. I always like to aim for if it's like 30 grams for a scoop, I would hope that there's like at least 25 grams of protein, but that's still pretty good. So we shall see though how it tastes, of course, for being such a clean protein powder. I can smell the pea protein for sure. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So I can taste a bit of the pea protein. But the vanilla is really nice and there's like a nice sweetness to it from that monk fruit extract. It's not like too sweet or anything. The vanilla is very, very subtle, but it covers enough of the pea protein taste that it's not really bothersome, but it's very faint. I would say it could be a bit stronger than vanilla itself. Super smooth texture. This is really enjoyable, like just with water. This is really nice. I really like this. I'm just curious as to adding it to cream of rice or oatmeal if the flavor is kind of diminished somewhat or if I'll be able to taste the vanilla pretty well. So, so far so good. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Is it worth $50? We'll talk about that later. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up, clean up the jar, and then we'll try the chocolate. All right, once again, this mixed up very easily. I'm excited to try this. The powder did smell quite chocolatey and mm, that smells wonderfully chocolatey. So, I mean, it's got that authentic cocoa powder, so I can't wait to try this. Mm, the fact that they use actual cocoa powder, it just tastes way more authentic like a brownie or something like whenever you bake with actual cocoa powder there's just such a difference in chocolate 
taste is just so rich so good i forgot to mention though back rows are the same with 130 calories three fat five carb and 20 protein but that's for 33 grams per scoop and also like 20 uh, servings per container this is delicious this is delightful oh my gosh I, I really enjoy this very much and again super smooth the texture is yeah i mean pretty flawless so this definitely is gonna taste great with morning oatmeal and like my pre-workout meals of cream of rice and even adding this to like yogurt whatever a smoothie however you like this is really nice all right friends so this was something really enjoyable to review i'm really happy i got to try these overall thoughts of these oh, man this chocolate is delicious and the vanilla was delightful now do i recommend them so okay this is my consensus about it all I would recommend this if say you have very strong intolerances like IBS and a lot of sensitivities to certain sweeteners or gums and, and just certain ingredients that can typically come in other protein powders whether it's vegan or not protein or not vegan I would say that yes go for it I mean if you don't have the budget for this I mean $50 for only 20 servings is more than $2 per serving which you can kind of get like one of those ready to go bottled proteins for around that price and it would be just equivalent. So if you have a stricter budget and you consume a lot of protein powder, the cost can easily add up. So I don't like strongly recommend this to everyone. This is not going to be my go-to protein i mean definitely i would love to try the other flavors having tried these maybe it'll be a bit of a pause because again these are quite expensive and it's not like i make plenty of money from youtube or anything so yes but i'm so happy i got to try them would i buy like specifically the vanilla and chocolate in the future I don't think so. I just so happened to find that at Sprouts where I bought these, they were having a buy one, get one half off. So it made it a tad easier to purchase, but even, even still, it came out to $75 for only a total of 40 servings of protein powder. So still like over $2 a serving. So it's just, it's just not, not, it's not that it's not in my budget, but I don't want to budget for that you know when maybe you want to save for other things and other protein powders work very well for my stomach so once again unless you're like one of those organic freaks that likes to just stick to very simple ingredients yes this would be great for you however for the general population i don't think so so sorry to disappoint you but if you want to go try it go try it go to sprouts asap because i don't know how much longer they're gonna have that buy one get one half off on that deal otherwise maybe their website has some deals not so certain but yeah so if you enjoyed this video enjoyed this review please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe support the channel so your girl can make more money so she can buy more of these damn expensive protein powders yes so i can't wait to see you for the next video whatever that might be maybe it's the review for the other flavors we shall see, but otherwise, go get those gains in the gym, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.